and Sludge. I'm Allstringer, and today we're going to be looking at a inexpensive desk mounting solution, and that is from Hiking. I bought these on Amazon. They came in another Amazon box, but this is the box that was inside. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Here is the manual. This is kind of a quick overview of what they are. They're going to be desk mount that's going to be compatible with Warthog, or you know, it could also be Orion 2. Stacks should fit. Uh, they have a little bit of an instruction manual on, hey, here's how we put them together. And they also have, um, sorry for the stupid accent, a little mounting piece that can you can mount your MFD Cougars or Stream Deck on. So, let's take a look and see what we got here. So it looks like we have our main arms here. And it looks like they're pre-assembled with the portion that goes on the top of the desk right here. They've got a little textured pad there. Looks like they've got a couple of little... Oh, these are for the, the bottoms. Put those to the side. Throw our garbage. Alright, so let's take a look at the... This is probably one of the most important pieces of this whole thing and that is the clamp. So these are toggle clamps, similar to toggle clamps we've seen used in other devices. But one thing I can tell you that I like about this is that there is a large uh, distance between your uh, one side of your clamp and the part that holds it all in, and the part that holds it all in is nice and thick and robust. Um, I like that they've drilled holes or, or cast it to match because that's going to make sure that this is securely connected to the upright. And so far it actually doesn't look too bad. They've given you enough space here that this thing isn't going to rotate, change angle in there. So yeah, out of, out of the inexpensive ones that I've looked at, this looks like it might actually be the most robust. We'll have to see how that goes. I'm going to pull the rest of it out. Might have just chosen well on this one because if I approve of this thing and it's not too bad, I'm going to be giving it away. When we reach 3,000 subs, which I really hope is soon, if you're not subscribed, please do so now. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help me out a lot. We've got our parts kit, which we won't dump out, but we'll take these two pieces out here. All right. I can tell you one thing I like already. So when it comes to these little T-nuts, I like the ones that are formed to the groove rather than the ones that are just flat and have a hole through them. I don't really like those. I, these tend to sit in the groove better than the flat ones. The ones that Monster Tech uses are even better because they've got a little nub on the back that holds it in place so you can you push it forward and back instead of having it slide. It just makes for easier assembly, that's all. Here are our pieces that hold the MFD, or uh, the, what is it called? Yeah, the MFDs if you if you wanted it. I'm actually going to keep all this packing material because uh, it obviously is going to be going out to someone else, so I'll keep that. We'll just put that one there. I'm not going to use that. All right, and so this is the other parts here. The other parts are going to be the... Platters, or um, man, what is the what is the word I'm looking for here? The plates that hold your stick. These are fairly robust. They're heavy, um, so these things are made of um, a thicker material than you would find in the Predator mounts, but it's much heavier as well. And I can tell you right now that the Predator one was easily just as rigid, but much lighter. But anyway, that's neither here nor there since this one is, this is about this one. You know, it, it actually is pretty straightforward and I kind of like how they've got this going on here. So first things first, we are going to get these assembled. I like it when they include the tools, but I really like it when they include this type of uh, 
hex wrench or Allen wrench that has a, the uh, indentation here because it makes it easier to use. But I don't need to use this because I have this. So I believe that's this size right here. We'll just verify. Yep. Okay. Um, these look appear to have appear to be the flat head ones. I'll use the instructions just because it's probably the best, right? Yep, they're flat and they do not say that they have any. Um, well, they don't include any either, so that would make sense, wouldn't it? <coughs> Excuse me.
All right, so we have these assembled now, so we'll put them on the desk and I'll start testing them. <clears throat> and I will let you know how they go. Um, but right now, I mean, for an inexpensive mount, they're looking pretty good. These look to be uh, pretty robust for what they are. Uh, obviously, they're not going to be as good as something like uh, Predator or Fox or or Monster Tech because they're not going to be adjustable in all the other ways and they're not going to be quite as robust or strong. But, uh, yeah, they're looking pretty good so far. I'll let you know how it goes.